All right, YouTube's Bat Cave Comics. Back again for part two of my comic haul slash comic trade. Um, this part two, still a ton of books, but I think you're going to enjoy this batch of books a little bit more than the than the previous video. So let me start off by saying thanks for joining me. Appreciate you tuning in, checking out my channel. Uh, the first book I'm going to show is Justice League America number 34, early Adam Hughes artwork. And this book is actually in fantastic condition, plus it is a newsstand. So I was definitely happy to pick that up for a dollar I grabbed that. <clears throat> these are all uh, these were all dollar books so I picked up Stormwatch 1 newsstand edition as you guys know I pick up these image newsstands I also picked up Cyberforce number 4 Spawn number 12 Savage Dragon number 2 and this next one is actually really hard to find and not only really hard to find really hard to find in good condition but darker image number one I was so happy to find this in newsstand now I actually have the regular cover the newsstand the platinum and the gold edition all in pretty much near mint unread condition let me adjust this up just a little bit. Oh, all right, there we go. Now, um, these next two books I picked up, believe it or not, at Goodwill. I was uh, shocked, but I did find Wolverine, Old Man Logan, number 66. And I believe this is the um, um, first appearance of Old Man Logan. So I was happy to find that. Unfortunately, the price sticker is not on the bag. It's on the comic. And then the uh, big find at Goodwill, which I was blown away. I found Adam, Legend of the Blue Marvel. First appearance of um, Blue Marvel. Let me see. This is um, Adam Brashear. The Blue Marvel first appearance. This book here in lower grade is going for over a hundred bucks. I couldn't believe I found it there, and it's actually in fairly good condition. It does have a ding right there, as you can see, and um, a little stress right here, and of course the price sticker on the back of the cover. But for two dollars. I'm not passing that book up. And then another huge find. And this is going to be a shout out to Strange X Blade. Because uh, uh, I've shouted out him out quite a few times lately. If you're not subbed him, go sub him up. Real good channel. Shows a lot of good books. But I would have never even known about this book. So this one's for you, Strange X. Um, I found this at the flea market. This is the Midway Mortal Kombat number one, the mail away. Um, super, super hard to find. And uh, the guy had a $35 price tag on it, which I thought was fair. And I said, um, What's your bottom line? He goes, 20 bucks. And I was sold, 20 bucks. So I picked this super rare comic. Uh, Mortal Kombat, which is the first appearance of pretty much all the more Mor uh, Mortal Kombat characters for 20 bucks couldn't believe it All right now I'm moving on to some eBay purchases and um, I'm pretty sure uh, You guys know what's coming since um, If you've been watching my videos kind of going brain dead here, but for uh Three dollars. I picked up Wonder Woman eighty-five DC Universe logo variant, and then I found another um, 
bestseller on there. And these next 19 books I picked up for $17. Let me move this. He, he wanted uh, $7 in shipping. So basically, it was uh, $24 for these next 19 books. But I also picked up Batman 508. DC Universe logo variant. 509, which I think that's my third copy of that. 510. 520. These books are sliding on me a little bit. 521. 532 then Batman Chronicles number 4 Batman Legends of the Dark Knight number 63 Catwoman number 5 and a second Catwoman number 5 Catwoman number 12 with another Catwoman number 12. Green Arrow, Green Lantern 110. 111. Shazam number 12. Robin number 4. Number seven, number eight, and to finish the DC Logo Universe variants off, Robin, number nine. All those in one big huge lot. Super happy to win that. And uh, just got those, I think, in the mail yesterday. All right. Now... I'm going to show you probably 20 more books that I picked up in that kind of trade sell of uh, part of my collection. And um, these are uh, like the DC Universe logo variants, just rare, hard to find stuff. But I grabbed Commandy number 49. And the reason why this is rare and hard to find, this is a Mark Jeweler variant. And then I also picked up the Unknown Soldier, well, Star Spangled Banner War Stories 204, um, Mark Jeweler's variant. But um, this is the end of Star uh, Spangled War Stories. It, it starts Unknown Soldier at 205. And then... House of Secrets 144. Two copies of that. Both of them Mark Jeweler variants. And then in this trade, I was super, super happy to get Marvel Tales 69 30 cent variant. Thor 250 hard to find 30 cent variant Avengers 149 same thing 30 cent variant Fantastic Four 172 Marvel's Greatest Comics 64 Ghost Rider number 18 Iron Man, number 87. Marvel Tales, number 68. Super Villain Team-Up, number 7. Defenders, number 38. Marvel Team-Up, number 30. And to finish this haul off, Captain Marvel number 45. All 30 cent, really hard to find 30 cent variant covers. None of these are in fantastic shape, 
they do have uh, damage and, and problem spots. But as hard as these things are to find, I didn't mind. I was still super happy to pick them up. And, and pretty much that was, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 30 cent variant uh, books I picked up. Um, I picked up 1, 2, <clears throat> 4, Mark Jeweler um variants and then all these dc universe logo variants so i thought i had a really good week this week um or last week rather hopefully um it'll be just good coming uh coming up this week but thanks again for stopping in checking out part two of my haul see you next time back cave comics out